realize a lot of people can't do this, but this is how I do my dishes and reach things off the top shelf. Take your right hand, stick it here, one hand up here. As you push up, you twist and sit your butt on the counter. Just like that. Come up, do your dishes, whatever you need to do. Grab your cabinets, whatever. Get all your top shelf stuff, reach everything. Um, to get back down, Put your hands in the same spot again, left hand here, right hand here, and you just pop down. Now, also one other way you could do the dishes is you could sit in front of it and sit on your armrest. Like that. And you use your forearms on the counters to keep your balance while you're doing everything. Okay. So this is one way that I actually open a door, and I'll show you another one after this. And here's probably the more normal way to do this, is you come up, put some, I don't know, come up to the door and push off it and pull the door back as you do that. So you, just like that, grab the handle on the inside and push it. Okay, so going out the door, back in the regular order. push door, you put one hand on the door, the other hand push through it, but this pushing on the door will equal out your stroke so that you go straight through the door. So you put your hand on, push through. Yep. And that's it. Okay, so right now we're in this long hallway and we're not, you're not gonna normally crawl through a hallway, but if you ever come up to a door jam that you can't get through and you just need to go a little bit extra to sit on the couch or, or whatever, or grab a beer or get into the bathroom, you can do that by just scooting across the floor. Um, right now we're on something slick, so I use that to my advantage. You get down, you can always just hop in or you can slide. <laughs> you know, you just keep going. See, now I'm like 50 feet away from my wheelchair. So that's how you do it. You just hop, slide, whatever works. Use walls. And then when you want to get back in your wheelchair, well, if you haven't figured it out, you need to figure that out. But this is how I do it. A lot of people ask me, how do I go up and down stairs when there's no elevators or whatever? Well, obviously you can't get your own chair up there, you have to have a friend to take it. But that doesn't mean you can't go up and down stairs. Um, so when I'm in a house or a friend's house, I do stairs by myself, hop on my butt, I, it, it's all good. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this. Um, you just kind of get out and do it. <laughs> you lock up, come up to the front step, lock your brakes. And you always use the railing, because that's the easiest way for leverage. So you put one arm on the, on the step, like that, grab the railing, hop off, and that's how you just go up. And that's how you get up the stairs. And coming down is very similar. And that's the safest way, is to put one hand on the railing, Go one step at a time and just butt it down. If you don't have a railing, you can always use the wall. Stick your hand on the wall, put pressure on the wall as you do it. 
and you just go one at a time. You can get really good at it. If coming down scares you, there's another way that you could do it, and it's where you lay on your stomach and you walk yourself down with your hands. So you lay on your stomach like this and just pull yourself down the stairs. And then you just hop in your chair. And then you can always hop on the floor, whatever you gotta do. Um, hopping on the floor doesn't bother me. And I'm gonna take my arm off show you with one hand how you can go up and down the stairs. And it's basically the same exact way. So now, my arm's off. I got this much. All right, so you start off the same way, up against the stairs, hand on the railing, and you just use your stump on the ground. You might want to go lower, Okay, so coming down, again, I'm gonna use this side, but you gotta keep pressure on the side. So put your one hand here, hand against here, however you wanna do it, one or two at a time. Don't let your pride get in the way of doing the things you need to do.